three senior members of the Lone Wolf Bikey Club have been charged by Raptor Squad detectives under Strike Force Searle. State Crime Command's Raptor Squad established Strike Force Searle in October 2022 to investigate the supply and manufacture of methamphetamine by members and associates of the notorious bikey club, the Lone Wolf MC. The heavily tattooed national president of this organized crime group, Medhat Mankarias, was arrested and marched out of his home in St. Clair by the officers, in nothing but a robe and colorful swim trunks. Multiple officers from the Raptor squad had earlier barged their way into Mankarias' home, before they emerged after arresting the club figurehead. The 41-year-old was seen handcuffed before he was forced to sit on a chair in the driveway of the property. He was charged with allegedly manufacturing and supplying a large quantity of meth. He is one of four presidents of the Lone Wolf MC, and faces life behind bars if he is found guilty of the charge. He was refused bail and fronted Penrith local court, with his case set to be heard in October this year. A number of people have already been charged under Strike Force Searle and remain before the courts. Officers raided several properties in Hebersham and St. Clair, about 50 kilometers west of Sydney's CBD, in targeted operations. This strike force is focused on both organized and violent criminal enterprises, aiming to deter and disrupt conflicts while prosecuting and dismantling networks involved in serious criminal activities. It accomplishes this through proactive investigations and intelligence-driven, high-impact law enforcement operations. Two other men from the same club were also arrested at Hebersham. One man was arrested at his property and was charged with allegedly participating in a criminal group and stealing a motor vehicle. The man was involved in disposing the vehicle used in a shooting at Connell's Point in July last year. He was denied bail and will face Windsor local court in late October. A third man was arrested and charged with allegedly possessing, manufacturing, and distributing meth. He was also denied bail after appearing before Penrith local court. He will face court again in November. The raids were part of operations conducted under Strike Force Searle, a task force set up by NSW police in October 2022 to investigate the manufacture and supply of methamphetamine by members of this outlaw group. This is one of the major arrests for the Lone Wolf Bikey Club that comes after the club's former boss Eric the Wolf Keskin, who was found dead in Turkey in 2022, after he fled Australia more than three years ago. Keskin maintained control over the Lone Wolf Club after he left Australia in late 2019 and had links to incarcerated Comanchero boss Mark Buttle. Police estimated he had amassed a $50 million fortune. Eric, 44, died from a suspected heart attack. After heavy drug use at a party, he was one of the country's most feared crime figures believed to be behind multiple executions and was still in control of the Lone Wolf MC despite fleeing Australia in 2019. He was known as the Naked Bikey after running down a Western Sydney street, nude with a handgun in July 2015. He had been embarking on a new business venture and planned to start a music label and sign Australian rap artists. The Lone Wolf Motorcycle Club was founded in Australia by Cy Alsep. The club was founded in 1971. Cy Alsep or Stephen Charles Alsep was the owner of Cy's Harley Davidson on Blacksland Road, Campbelltown, New South Wales. Alsep died on January 20, 2015 from cancer, with his funeral held at the Gledswood Homestead, Catherine Field. The last decades of his life were spent delivering meals to the elderly as part of his charity Meals on Wheels. 
Lone Wolf has a diverse membership, including many Pacific Islander and Middle Eastern members. Throughout the second half of 2014 a gang war erupted between the Lone Wolf Motorcycle Club and Rebels MC, since that time Rebels are considered as their arch enemies. The club expanded into Western Australia in around 2014, opening a chapter in Perth. Lone Wolf is notorious for its secretive nature and enigmatic presence within the MC world. The club has gained notoriety for its clandestine operations and tight-knit brotherhood who have long maintained a low profile, deliberately shrouding its activities and members in secrecy. This approach has made it challenging for law enforcement agencies to penetrate their inner circle. Lone Wolf MC are known to be fiercely loyal to their club, creating an exclusive brotherhood that is notoriously difficult to infiltrate. They adhere to a strict code of silence, making it extremely rare for any insider information to leak to the public or authorities. Several prominent figures within the Comanchero MC, such as Sergeant at Arms, Tarek Sahed, Mick Murray, and Mark Buttle, have been known to maintain close business relationships with members of the Lone Wolf Motorcycle Club, highlighting the intricate web of associations that exists within the Outlaw Motorcycle Club world. These affiliations have contributed to a complex and sometimes volatile landscape of interactions between the two groups, marked by a history of violence, crime, and shared interests. In a troubling history, there have been instances of violence and criminality involving both club's members. Yusuf Natsliglu, a murdered patched member of the Lone Wolves, became a prime suspect in the assassination of Comanchero boss Mick Howie in 2016, a shocking incident that underscored the tensions between the two groups. Similarly, in 2016, Eric Keskin faced charges related to the kidnapping of Comanchero associate Mehmet Yilmaz, further fueling the conflict between the two clubs. The arrested notorious president Medhat Mankarias, is well known to police, as he has a long criminal history. He first made headlines in 2016, when he was arrested for committing a premeditated robbery in Mackay, with three other lone wolf members. Mankarias flew from Sydney to Mackay, hired a truck and a car then stole items from a home including jewelry. This daring robbery sent shockwaves through the community as the group posed as legitimate labor workers. He was arrested and was charged with entering a dwelling with intent, robbery and possessing marijuana. In 2009 he was sentenced for brutal assault and spent time in Rockhampton Correctional Center.